this kid been see back with the Zoom sample track. And I had somebody reach out to me and say, hey, you promised to show us how to add effects on the pads. And he's right, I did promise that. And I'm gonna try to show you really quick. And I'm assuming that you've already seen the uh, other video is really long and extensive about how to sample into and do a beat. I will try to cover um, two things real quick. And that's the, uh, actually three things. I'm going to try to fit them in a short video. I don't want to make it super long like I did the last one. Um, I already have some sounds in here that I sampled. Let me just turn it up a little bit louder. Okay. So I already have my sounds in there and you want to use these effects on these sounds. So what you have to do is enable these so they can, um, so the sound will affect the pad. Um, first thing to do to turn the effects on, you want this light right here to glow. See that? It's a little, it's not lit. We got the AB light, but right under there's another light and it says on off. To make that light can glow, glow continuously, hit on off and loop mark at the same time. That um, turns the effect on. To add that effect to these pads, you would hit pad enable and you would hit every pad that you want the effect to go to. Now, I hit pad enable and I, after that I hit the pad. Like if I hit it again, it would turn it off. But when the first time I hit it, it turns the lights on. So now all of those pads have the effect on it. You can do it through banks one, two, three. Okay, now once you get the pads enabled, um, you have to look at where you're dialing. Like, I have it on low pass and high pass. Low pass is A, if I hit it again, B is the bottom one, it would be high pass, the underlying one. So again, A would be low pass, B would be high pass. On this one, A would be distortion, B would be ring modulator. On this one, A would be pitch shifter. B would be dimension and you can play with both of these effects knob to hear the changes. Each each knob, edit one and edit two control a different parameter. A, I'm back on the low pass. There's a delay way over here on A. You can dial any of these, A or B, you have access to any of those once you have the effects, you know, armed on the pad. Now here's another thing about it, you can actually resample these sounds. Once you get the effect you like, you can resample it and then put it into uh, your sequence. If you was to uh, press record and then hit resample, you can actually sample the sound that with the effect on it. So I'm going to sample this one with the delay on it. Then it would be in a machine. Now here's the thing. This is where your limits come in. Once I replace that with that um, sound, then it's kind of permanent. So you have to make sure you got your sounds exactly how you want them. If you plan to replace pads with the effects on them, because once you do it, then it's what it is. You can't go back and change it like you can in maybe the software world. That is how I personally used to get over limitations and I'm sure there's some other people who've used it and done that same trick. The other thing that you can do with this machine is um, you can run um, instruments into it and sample them or let's let them play. And I'm gonna see if I can rig up a quick demo with this. All right. If I remember this correctly, to get source mixes running through, you have to hit uh, source mix and loop. I have my keyboard running through, but let me turn it down. I think my keyboard is pretty loud right now. So if you hit source mix and loop mark, here it is. That's a keyboard running in this. And the great thing about it is, this gives you some crazy options. 
you can actually you actually have a pad enable for your source mix so I can actually run the effects on my keyboard so peep game so so now I have a um, outside signal so that is cool I have effects running through I can still control all my drums So people, that is external source running in through it and using the processing inside the sample track. When I first told y'all, this is a powerful machine. I never really wanted to give y'all all these tips, but I'm giving them to you anyway, so you can go make your own beats. So if you want to cut it off, you just hit it and it turns it off. Loop mark on, loop mark off, pad enable on, pad enable off. And that's how you turn on the on and off the effects and the source mix. So I'm not sure if you can sample it, but let's find out. Yes, you can. So I hit record and I sampled it like it was inside the machine. You know, I sampled into it from an external source, and actually a sound a sound I can assign anywhere on the pad. So that means you can play instruments into it, sample them, and play it back from a pad and edit it using the things I taught you earlier. So this is a powerful machine, y'all. It's a lot of things you can do. You know, source mixing. Hey, that opens up a that opens up a huge world. You can save your mixes too. I don't know if I covered that in the last um, video, but if you have an internal card like the little smart disc, you can save your uh, sequences on it. This is the smart media for those who didn't see it on the first video. Um, you can save, and you would do that by hitting save, and then once you do that, the card pops up. And once you uh, find a number, you have to find maybe an empty slot, and it does 1 through 99, and you hit save, and it would save all of those um, those uh, sounds and sequences onto the card, and incidentally, the same way as if you cut it off and you uh, hit load, and then find that number, dial it in, and hit load again, it would load the same sequence from the card. So I don't want to do that because I don't know how much room is on this card and I, I just kind of modified the sequence for the video. So I do not want to <laughs> mess that up. But again is you hit save and the internal card automatically pops up, find you a number, hit save again and it will save that sound. You have to give it maybe about a minute or two minutes. And sometimes if your card is full, you may have to optimize the sounds because it'll optimize the parts of the sound you don't use and it will uh, give you uh, memory back. Like there's a lot of times we sample big things and um, we just leave the whole sample, but this thing can actually optimize and get rid of the parts that you don't lose, use. I think NPCs can do that too, but this is, I think that was a pretty dope feature to have on a um, throwback machine like this, where you can go back and optimize all the um, whole play and go through your samples and optimize them if you didn't use it. See, I'm getting more time back by finding out, um, and that will make it easier to save once you optimize all your samples. You know, let me see, what did I get back? Yeah, 27 seconds, not bad. I think it was like uh, 18 or 15 when I first started. So that's less data you have to store on the card. The, the less, the better, because you have more time for other sequences. So, hey, I hope y'all find this machine and create some beautiful music with it. This is Kiva C and I'm out. Peace.